Padilla. All right, back to our COVID coverage. Our medical expert here to talk about the new health care mandate and the latest on breakthrough cases in the Bay Area. And joining us is UCSF Department of Medicine, Medicine Chair Dr. Bob Wachter. And Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. We understand that new mandates are coming down today. Can you talk about the new vaccine requirement for the state and state health care workers? Well, I'm all in favor of it. I think for, from the very beginning, it's been appropriate for healthcare workers who take an oath to do no harm, at least the doctors do, to keep themselves safe for their patients. And we know that vaccination rates, for example, in nursing homes are often about 50%, and that to me is unconscionable. So many of the large healthcare systems have already done this, including UCSF and many others. Uh, Kaiser did it a few days ago, but I think it's appropriate for all healthcare workers in the state to be vaccinated, and they, they shouldn't be able to come near vulnerable patients unless they are. And let me ask about breakthrough cases because those numbers seem to be going up. Is that because we're seeing more cases overall? It's mostly yes, because there are there's more COVID around. Mm. And therefore, if you're vaccinated and you are well protected, but not 100% protected, you are more likely to get a case. The great news about the vaccines is they continue to prevent severe cases. Uh, at UCSF, we've seen a fair number of breakthrough cases. Virtually all of them happen outside the hospital. Hospital remains incredibly safe, but a nurse or a doctor at a party or, or, or in other, in other uh, encounters, uh, we've seen some, uh, but it's against a denominator. We've had a few hundred. It's against a denominator of about 40,000 people. And of the people who've gotten breakthrough cases, I think one has gone to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it, 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 they happen. They're unusual. Uh, they don't get very sick. The vaccines continue to work very well. And the hospital and the healthcare system remains a very safe place to go. All right. Speaking of vaccines, what about Moderna's push for a third dose uh, as this Delta variant infections rise? Yeah, we're still trying to sort out who needs a booster. Uh, mm -hmm. A study came out from Moderna today saying that their vaccines seem to be holding up quite well after six months. A study from Pfizer a few weeks ago seemed to indicate some decay in the efficacy after six months. The Moderna study might be a little suspect because they weren't really studying what happens with Delta. I suspect that we will be seeing a need for boosters in older people, in immunocompromised people, probably people who got J&J, &J, and maybe people who got their vaccines a while ago. I'm, I'm over 60, got my Pfizer shots about seven or eight months ago. I haven't gotten boosters yet, but it won't surprise me if there's a recommendation for that coming in the next month or so. That time may be yeah. coming. All right, UCSF Department of Medicine Chair, Dr. Bob Walker, thanks so much. Appreciate it, doctor. Welcome.